What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all so much for being here. So today's video, we have a purse review. We're going to compare and contrast, talk about the things I like, talk about the things I don't like, and we are going to try to figure out a purse for fall. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and let's jump right in. All right, you guys, like I said, we're trying to find a purse for fall, or I'm trying to find a purse for the fall. And so literally over the past few weeks, I have carried two or three different purses and bags trying to figure out which purse is the best fit for me. There was a purse 31 had several years ago that I fell in love with and literally carried it till it fell apart and that was probably five or six years ago and it was literally just because I was I was rough on it okay and so I carried it and I say falling apart I can still carry it today um it just looks worn a little bit if you know what I mean so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you I have I believe one two three four five six seven of 31's probably most popular purses, but there are a few that I do not have, and I'll tell you which ones those are. So the first one I'm gonna start with is the Demi Day Bag. Now, I don't actually have a current one of these. I have an older style and an older version. And so this is an older version, so this print is not available anymore. And it's actually even had the style updated and changed just a little bit. But for size reference, this is about the size of the Demi Day Bag that you were gonna purchase in our catalog, and it's $38. Now, I actually use this more for a Bible bag when I carried it um, than I did. And you can't really see, it's got some personalization on it that says virtuous style. Um, so I actually carried this one a long time ago, but you can kind of see it's got a short drop. Um, and then it's just, a, it's a much smaller person. In fact, for me being a purse, it is way too small. The current one actually does have a cell phone pocket on the back. Mine doesn't because it's older. Um, and then it has a zipper pocket on the inside. This one actually doesn't even have that. So they really updated this. Definitely good for a Bible bag. If you like smaller purses and you don't really want to carry a lot, but you still want a purse, this would be a great option. And again, this is $38. So the next one that we are going to talk about is the all zipped up crossbody purse. All zipped up crossbody purse okay and this one is also $38 now this is a new style for 31 um this is a purse I actually have used this one I got this one in a my conference amenities kit and so it does have a pocket here on the front that goes literally all the way across the front of it it does have a pretty big pocket with a zipper pocket on the inside and then it also does have the signature cell phone pocket on the back and then the thing I like about this is that it can be worn crossbody, and that's kind of what it's intended. Now you can adjust the strap. You can see here it does have a way you can adjust the strap. Um, and so I really like this. I actually carried this purse two weekends ago for my daughter's birthday. We took her and some friends out shopping, and I used this purse. I like kind of just a more hands-free approach when I'm doing something like that, maybe going to an amusement park or a concert or something, then definitely this is a way you can go. Now, I do wanna tell you something that I noticed about this purse as I was carrying it. I'm kind of a get in the car, get out of the car, let's go, let's do this. And a lot of times, if it would be laying like on the floor or kind of sitting next to me or something like that, these would get a little twisted some way. So when I would go to stand up, I would go to stand and my purse would flip my phone every single time flew out of this pocket and so one time it was on the garage floor and i was just like Ooh, oh my gosh um so it's just something it may not happen to everybody if you're not a like let's go let's go let's go kind of person then you may grab your purse and not have to worry about that for me it was just an issue that i noticed it may be good if it had more of a little bit of um this faux leather material back here to kind of give it a little bit of an edge to grab against so that it didn't just kind of slide right out if the purse did tip over or something like this. But I really do like this. It is, um, for not having to, like if we're out and about, I'm not gonna have my planner and that kind of stuff, but it does fit our All About the Benjamins. Fits down in here, and I still had plenty of room to carry other stuff. I could put my chapstick and my sanitizer up here, and it didn't seem bulky or you know bulging out or anything like this. So this is a definitely a good option for a hands-free um, option. So definitely like this, the all zipped up crossbody for $38. And this print, I will tell you, it comes in three different prints. This is the textured 
gray. It also comes in plaid about you weave and soft camo, which I have some of those I'll show you in a minute. Um, but those actually have a faux leather strap. So this is kind of also a more sporty feel, which is kind of why I wanted it because I was thinking shopping trips like out and about with the girls, you know, running around crazy, um, flexible, plus also like Silver Dollar City, the amusement parks, that kind of thing. So that is what I got for that one. The next purse that I have is the Window Shopper Limited. Now this purse is, let's see, I've got to look at the prices, y'all. I'm still, I think I'm going to put it over here. It'll be a little closer. This one is $78. We actually have a window shopper purse that is very similar to this, but it does not come in the faux leather material. This is a faux leather material. It actually comes in a couple weave patterns and then a few vintage maple and vintage slate. So it's gonna be more of a fabric material and that one's only $58, but it's got many of the same features, except this one will kind of stand up on its own. The other one will not. Um, so this does come with a strap. Again, this is the Window Shopper Limited in Caramel Distressed Pebble. I'm about to fall over, y'all. Um, so this is actually the purse that I have been carrying this week, most of this week. Um, and I really, really like it. But it does have one feature that I'm like, oh, I wish it didn't have, you know, had something different. So it does come with a strap. So again, you can wear it crossbody. But I like these handles because when you go to get out of the car, I can grab those. So I don't have what's happening on that other purse where my phone go flown. My phone goes flying out onto the concrete. So I do like having that. It does also have the signature cell phone pocket back here on the back. It is really hidden. There we go. It does have a full pocket here on the front, no closure there. And then it also has the zipper pocket here on the inside. Um, I also have my little uh, pouch here because this has my AirPods in it currently since this is the purse I'm using. See, there they are, um, to match. And I absolutely love it. I've just got it clipped right here and it hangs in so I don't lose my um, AirPods in the bottom of my purse and go searching for them. The one thing, I do not like about this bag is it does not have a, a closure like it is full-on open there's no snap there's no zipper nothing and I really wish it had some way to close it to me if it did it would be like the perfect purse for myself um, but it does not have that so again this is the window shopper limited for $78 now let me ask you are you like a person who likes their purse you know more vertical or do you like your purse more horizontal because I kind of am figuring out as I go that I'm more of a horizontal purse I like to have more room but I do like this option it's more of a just square um, but I do like that option so let me know down below are you more vertical or more horizontal and that is your purse style not your body type okay all right <laughs> Next thing that we have is the casual crossbody tote. Now, again, this is one that I received um, in our impact, our conference amenity kit. And so this one is actually in the plaid about you weave. And then it has with my signature, my R signature on it. Um, I have not used this one. I did put all my stuff in it. It again can be crossbody um, or it can just be a long shoulder strap. It does have these, which I really like. Um, however, if I go put in my All About the Benjamins and my planner, this is where it gets crazy. This, I'm going to try to scoot back here. It like hangs way down and just really feels like it's weighted down. And my planner tries to turn and lay flat almost in it. And I just, I just don't care for that. Um, so another thing about this one, so it does come with a strap, does come with handles. And then it has also the zipper pocket, the zipper pocket here on the back. I'm gonna to try to see if I can show this. But then it also has two, and I like having these. Um, they are just kind of helpful. That's where I normally would put my AirPods, but like I'm using the little pouch on the other one. And then it has this little strap. I'm thinking this is like could be for your keys or maybe one of your little pouches, um, but it just, it snaps and then you can, close up so you can use that whatever for you know whatever I'm wondering what they call it let's see they call that interior snap tab so there you go it's an interior snap tab and then um yeah so I'm 
turn seeds. So this one is $58. And I'm gonna show you the one thing that I do not like about it. Actually, there's two things. One, it does not have any kind of closure. There's no way for you to close this bag. It is just like a tote. It is open. And then also, because of the material, this is like what the regular window shopper would be. You can kind of see, that's how it would be, like if you set it down on the table or whatever and didn't have anything to hold it up. It does not have the pocket for your phone. And I'm kind of a little bit addicted to that pocket. Like I need that on my purse. Um, it is just super helpful and just so convenient. I absolutely love that option and that feature so that now when a purse doesn't have it, I'm just kind of like, oh, really? Um, so this is just not, it's super cute. Absolutely love it just not the purse for me. So, um, again, this is the casual crossbody tote for $58. So, moving right along, we have the purse I was so super excited about. It was actually on the front of the last season's catalog. That is the step up tote in soft camo. I was so excited about getting this bag in. Um, got it at some hostess rewards, um, has the strap, the adjustable strap, so you could also do it crossbody. You can also do it like this. You can kind of see how that looks. Love everything about this. It has the handles. It has the signature cell phone pocket. It has a zipper closure. It has the zipper pocket. It doesn't have those two, but that was fine because I ended up just attaching whew, my um, little pouch that I have over there. I need to figure out what that thing's called, but I'm just gonna call it my little pouch from now on. I attached it right here. And I was just like so excited. Now, I will say, once I got everything in here, I'm gonna show you guys again. You're gonna be like, just don't put as much stuff in your, phone, in your purse. I just wasn't a huge fan of the way it falls and the way it hangs. It just doesn't feel good to me. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it was almost maybe too wide. It kind of, if you can kind of see here, it curves outward, whichever way my planner was in there. Y'all gonna be like, well, get a different planner. No, I love that one from Hobby Lobby, just in case you were wondering, $14.99. Um, but I don't know, I carried it for like three days. I gave it every opportunity and it is so stinking awesome. If you didn't have a big planner, this purse is amazing. I do wish it had this faux leather on the bottom just because it does go back to that material. So it could probably get, it's not as easy or it's not as easy to clean. It is that kind of material, hear that, um, that you could do that with. Just, I don't know, there was just, it wasn't it. You know, when you find it, you find it. This one just wasn't it, but it is the step up tote. I love this purse. It's super stinking adorable. And let's see, you can actually get this in black houndstooth plaid, which is super cute, black and white plaid, and soft camo. It is $68, and I do. I just absolutely love this. It just, and maybe if I decide not to carry the um, planner, then this is definitely gonna be the purse. I'm not getting rid of it, because I love it too much. Um, I will find a way to use this, but it's just not my gonna be my go-to fall bag. Um, the next one that I have is, I actually got this in my kit, um, and then the print went away. But, so this print is not available anymore, but this is a current bag. It's just not in a current print. But it is the modern tote, and I carried this bag throughout the entire summer. We went to Florida, I had it, carried it, absolutely loved it, except for the fact it does not have a closure. Um, it fits, I love the, the size of it. I love that it's horizontal. I loved, you know, it's just super, you know, it's that faux leather material. It does have the cell phone pocket. And then when you open it up, it has the zipper pocket, two inside pockets. Here, it would be a little harder. It doesn't really have anywhere that you could put that little clip, but I guess you could do it on the actual strap and just hang it in. But I love this. It just does not have, it's a tote doesn't have a closure. It doesn't have any kind of zip, snap. But have a snap right here just that you could snap it for a little bit just to kind of keep stuff in, it'd be great. It just does not have that. So this again is the modern tote. It comes in five different prints, black distress pebble, caramel distress pebble. That was something hitting one of our sunroof or skylights in the bathroom. Classic houndstooth, which is gonna be super popular this fall, just say ink. Gray crocodile. We got some croc. 
um, it was rocking your Crocs day at schools today in Jack's, in our hometown. So, um, and then Stone Distressed Pebble. So those are the ones that it comes in. And again, um, it is $78. And this does come in our kit also, one of the current ones. So you can actually pr pick the print you want if you get it in one of our kits. Not a bad deal, just saying. Um, so the last one that I have to show you, and then I'll do a recap of the ones we do not have, is our Cindy tote. Now this tote is named after the founder of 31, Cindy Monroe, and I absolutely love it. It's the perfect business bag. This is one that I currently have. I don't necessarily use it all the time, but I do love what it says on it. Um, so this is an old print. You cannot get this print anymore. You can get something very similar, but just not this exact one. And so this is the Cindy tote. Um, and of course I have, I love Jesus and coffee. Yes. Um, it does have two pockets on the outside. Like I said, this is more of a business bag in my mind. Um, it's way too big for me as a purse. Um, I do like that it has these on the bottom. So if you had to sit on the floor, it's not just sitting directly on the bottom of the tote. It does have a zipper closure. So I do like that. It does have a zipper pocket. And then it actually has three pockets on the inside of it. Um, and super huge. This is perfect to carry your laptop. If you're if you're any kind of a salesperson, you can carry your catalogs, you can carry product, you can carry all kinds of things. It can be used as a diaper bag. Super cute. Um, it actually comes, let's see, in three different prints as well. In Stitches Weave, Plaid About You Weave, and Posh Weave. And y'all can click down below and I will have my website down there so you can actually go see these. Um, on the website and then it does does have and I don't think this one does actually but now they come with I believe a d-ring over here on the side of it so you could attach that little um, pouch to it as well uh, let's see and it is $78 also so the ones I'm going to show you that I do not have I do not have a classic style tote which is another just um, tote style you can kind of see right here um, you can see what it looks like on her and um, that's one of the things I love about our catalog is how it shows that that one is $78 then we I do not have a city scene bag that is going to be the next purse that I purchase because listen to this it's $68 comes in four print print patterns exterior hidden cell phone pocket check interior zipper pocket and two flat pockets check check like both of those the same shoulder drop as the modern tote that I just showed you that I love so much. And it has a zipper closure. Yes! So excited. Um, so definitely probably going to be ordering me one of those. And then y'all post down below and tell me kind of what pattern. Because you've got the, let's see, Black Distress Pebble, Classic Houndstooth, probably, Gray Crocodile or Stone Distress Pebble. I'm thinking I'm going Houndstooth, more than likely. Definitely gonna be going Houndstooth, probably. And that one is, again, $68, so not bad. Then we do have a bunch of smaller options. We have some backpacks, um, some weekenders, that kind of things. Definitely go check those out down below. Um, and then let me know, out of the purses I showed you today, which one was your favorite? What did you like? Um, all the things. And yeah, just let me know kind of what is your purse style. Do you like vertical? Do you like horizontal? Do you need, what are your must-haves when it comes to your favorite purse? Does it need a closure? Does it need pockets? To, what does it need? You tell me. So go ahead and drop those comments down below. Definitely please subscribe to my channel if you like anything to do with um, lifestyle stuff. I do subscription boxes. I talk about 31. I do makeup boxes and hauls. I do Dollar Tree hauls every now and then. Um, I think I'm going to even do a decorate with me video here in the near future because I'm getting ready to decorate for fall and I like to do my mantle up for all the seasons and so Halloween's coming up and so I definitely still decorate for that. So that may be coming up so definitely subscribe if that interests you we are a positive fun encouraging channel and definitely going to be sharing about my jesus because i love some jesus he is the reason i'm here so hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video it just literally makes me smile plus it also does help my channel you can click that bell it'll give you a notification anytime i post new videos and that is really all i've got for you today guys so until next time bye y'all